Hey guys, so um, this is the Circuit Hadron video podcast, and um, today I'm going to be explaining um, the code for the um, 5x7 LED matrix video I did a bit earlier, so I think I'm going to do this now for every electronics project I show off. I'm also going to do a video explaining the code. So anyway, as you can see, I adapted this code from the blank sketch. Oh, and by the way, this is microphone number two for the contest. And um, I'm just going to be going through how it uh, works, and so how you can change it. So right here, I just have a regular integer i, you know. In the setup, I just declare all my pins. So these pins are all connected to the LED matrix, as you saw. And the negative uh, pins on the matrix are connected through a resistor. Um, and by the way, this is 433 lines of code, but that does include comments and lines like such as this one, where there is nothing actually on the line. So, just keep that in mind, but <laughs> this is how this will be. A bit of a stretch, because there's a lot of code, so it might be a long video. But, so anyway, uh, let's get started. Um, void loop, obviously, just creates a loop. Here's a for loop, and the way for loops work is you say for, you have a variable, you say when that variable is equal to zero, and as you see at the beginning, we set i equal to zero, so starting off, it is zero. Um, and essentially, it's just going to repeat that loop until it gets to 150, less than 150, and plus plus means it's positive. You could also have it go negative, meaning that instead of counting up, it goes down. So right here, you see at the beginning, as we write at the beginning, the square is totally green. So what we do is, as you saw in the video, what we did is to get a square green, I wrote the top row of the square and the bottom row of the square high. So essentially this, these, when I write something low, meaning um, I'm writing those two rows low. And then I write everything else high because the pins automatically go low. And that means if it, they automatically go low when I just wrote something high, that means, so a, uh, am I making, I'm, I'm being very confused here. So <laughs> to get unconfused, you know, what I'm going to it, like um pins automatically go low. That would mean that every row was automatically pulled low, meaning every light would go on. You can't do that. So since I don't have these hooked up through transistors, like I should have to give enough th current. That's why it's so weak. But this was just a demo. Then we delay one millisecond, as you can see here. We write everything high. That turns everything off. And then um what that does is if um, i is equal to 999, meaning if it's gotten all the way up there, then um, break it. And I, I don't think this code block really does anything, considering I can only get to 150. So I think it's kind of pointless, but I left it in there anyway. Um, <laughs> so I just disregard that code, that little, this, this little code block here. You do need this part, though, because this corresponds, as you can see here, to the, um, the for loop. Right there, you see, that's that's um, squared around here. Anyway, we'll just keep going down. And here's our next code block. And this writes um, the whole square green. So what it does is, it does the same thing, writes the top two rows um, on, turns everything off. Then what this code block is doing here is writing, I think actually this code block, what it does is it's writing the outer square green and the inner square red. So what this does is, now the top two lines are green. But in a box, there is still the um, the sides. So this writes this little side two dots, um, green. This turns everything off again. And then this writes the inner two dots, red. And you're wondering, why do I have a delay, and why don't you see the flicker? It's because that means that each one of these things is happening million, like um, a thousand times a second, because of the delay one, right? There's a thousand of these delays in a second. So these are flashing so fast, you can't really see the flash. Um, so they're they're just w essentially only one little row. It probably sh I should have done it so only one dot, but in my case, only one row is ever on at a time, even though it looks like they're all on at once. So then this code right here, um, I'm pretty sure what it does is it writes the whole square red. So essentially, we just have uh, what we're doing is we're just writing everything red, turning everything off. And then it just does that for the rest of the code. 
um, but what I do is essentially I only in this code I only have one thing on at one time so if the box is entirely wrote yellow the top line and the bottom line are yellow and then the middle line is yellow but only the top line is on then everything is off then the bottom line is on then everything is off and then the middle line is on and everything is off I think is the way I did it I did write this code it's been a couple of days now since I've actually done the code so I'm not sure if I remember exactly right and I don't really feel like doing the work to actually see so it might be that I think the top and the bottom line are on at once and then the middle line but anyway I y you can't have everything on at once it doesn't work like explained in the multiplexing video so that's how this code works feel free to modify it and most of this code thank god was done by copying and pasting so it didn't actually take much of my time but anyway that is uh, how this code works and in case you didn't know when I get enough uh, strip board to do this I'm gonna turn this into having that thing be a little temperature sensor because I did an LCD temperature sensor video so I think I'm just gonna adapt the code to do um, this so thank you for watching comment rate subscribe go to my website quicknuclearscience.webs.com this code will be on the website um, under the files page so go there obviously it will be in the description um, thank you for watching I hope this helped you understand the code Bye.